Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about GoTo in VS Code. This is super handy when you're working in a modern component based workflow or just whenever, to be honest, because typically when you're working, you may see things like this component and you say, I actually want to edit this component. Now, what you can do is you can hold down the command key and hover over it with your mouse and select it, which is going to open the file, which is really nice, right? Now, what else you can do is you can also select it and say, go to definition. Yeah, which does the exact same thing. Or you can select it and hit F12, which is also going to do the same thing or whatever you actually make that keyboard shortcut, meaning that you have all of these options to go to the definition of the thing you're working on. Now, I know a lot of people don't like mouse behavior, but for some reason, it's just really easy for me to command click to get this into the next one, rather than remember what the shortcut is, which means that I should probably set up my own custom shortcut that is a little bit easier than the holding down the function key and then going for the F12, right? Now, you may run into some scenarios where you go to do this and you click it, and you will see that it pops up this little peak. And that might make you think, okay, I don't, I don't want this thing to peak. I don't want this, this thing to pop open like this. And not only that, but this window's kind of weird. It always feels weird that this pops open. Now, the reason why this happens is because there's more than one definition available for this. So you can even see that when I hold on to this, click to show two definitions. Okay. So when I click it, it's going to show the two definitions. However, uh, it, this this whole UI is, is just kind of weird to me, to be honest. I would almost prefer for VS Code to just make up its mind for me. And if it's not the right one, I would just go to it rather than having to, um, you know, bring up this message and then have to maybe click in here or come up with another keyboard shortcut. So how do you turn off this peak uh, where you show the go to definition? So let's show you this. All we have to do is go into our settings and you're going to search for go to. And when you see go to, you're going to see a whole bunch of these multiple declarations, multiple definitions, multiple implementations, multiple references. And these are all the different types of ways that you can determine or go to something. So if we wanted to change go to multiple definitions to just go to the primary result, I'm going to change this and say go to instead. Editor go to location, multiple definitions. So let's go ahead and try that now. When I click on this, you can see it just pops open the uh, it, the one it thinks it is supposed to be going to immediately without me having to open the peak. That's really handy. Now there's another neat thing in here that you may have seen, which is go to definition. For instance, this series right here is a type of a whole bunch of stuff. How do I go to the definition of this type? Well, once again, you can pop open your command palette and type in go to and you can see type definition is one of these things. Now, this one does not have a keyboard shortcut set up to it uh, by default. So if you wanted to, you can see it's, it's actually taking me to the uh, readable definition, which that's fine. It, it is a readable. Now, the other ways you can go to the type definition would be to go to type definition. You can see that the other shortcuts here go to implementations. So if I were to go to implementations, this is going to show me I, I don't think this is implemented anywhere else. So that's probably why, again, I don't, I hardly ever use go to implementations, but, uh, for me going in and just saying, all right, I want to option click a thing. There it is. I'm at my thing, or I'm at this thing function F12, or in your case, just F12, whatever you set this at, it's just going to jump you right in. So this is one easy way to get around your component tree without having to pop open the command palette and start to search for something. So this is how to quickly and easily navigate through your components using go to. Now, one thing that I'm going to do before we do the end of this video here is since oftentimes in these VS code pro tips, I'm talking about the hyper key, which I have set to be cap lock. And because caps lock is not used for anything, this makes it a perfect idea for something to go to the definition. Now I have a, a number of hyper shortcuts set up already. So if we were to add one more, I'm going to make sure that it's not anything that I've already done. We'll do keyboard shortcuts here and say, uh, let's look for go to definition. And then we can select this. We can click the little pencil. And for this, I'm going to say hyper D. Okay. We got a hyper D in here and that hyper D is going to take us directly to this uh, components definition. Now, the other one I use the most often is go to type definition. So if we click this, I'm going to say hyper T. Okay. 
So that means now when I'm in my code base, I have author, my cursor's on author, I'm going through this thing, I said, okay, I get to playlist tutorials, I can now do hyper, hyper D, and it takes me right there. Um, yeah, this is pretty neat, something interesting here. Like I have on series, I'm gonna say hyper T, it's gonna take me to the type definition showing me uh, that we have an interface readable that passes in a generic here. So this is getting around your code base quickly and easily with go to from the place that you're at. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. You can use this in combination with the command uh, palette to search for things or the go to search files menu here that we have. You can use this along with that and make it so you don't always have to search and type for things, especially if you're seeing them directly in your face. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for the next VS Code Pro Tip.